Good morning, everyone. My name is Sylvia Moore. I'm Southern California organizer for California Common Cause. And I'm going to make a statement on behalf of Common Cause, and then I'm going to introduce our, our speakers here. So today our democracy is broken. Campaign spending is out of control. And our elections are being handed over to the highest bidders, while average Americans are, are increasingly are feeling shut out of the political process as they find that it's difficult to get their concerns heard. Many talented people don't run for office and, ser and serve their country because of the enormous amount of money required to mount a serious campaign. So we can no longer allow wealthy special interests to continue to drown out the voices of everyday Americans. So we are asking Californians this November to send a powerful message to our legislature and congressional leaders to support amending the Constitution and demand something be done about the overwhelming flood of money dominating our elections. And so now I will turn it over to our coalition partners to say a few words. Our coalition partners in the fight to get big money out of politics. First, I'd like to introduce Trent Lang of the California Clean Money Campaign, sponsor of the effort to pass the California Disclosure Act, an organization dedicated to achieving open and accountable government in California. So, Trent. Thank you, everybody. We are at a historic crossroads here in California with a Supreme Court decision saying, uh, unleashing unlimited amounts of usually secret money on politics, our very democracy is at risk. People across the country are starting to rise up about that. We're finally, we're seeing a really strong movement on behalf of those. Here in California, we have the opportunity to take a lead. And our legislature, with the support of a groundswell grassroots support, has been taking a lead. Uh, the California Disclose Act, a bill to make political funders show the real fund, uh, their, their true funders, came within one vote of passing this year and will be back in December. Two other bills, crucial bills on uh, big money and finance, uh, SB 1349 to allow, to replace the Secretary of State's broken campaign finance uh, website so we can really see true funders there, passed the legislature unanimously. SB 1107, authored by Senator Allen, to allow small donors the chance to, to uh, have a real voice with strong, accountable, fair public financing systems, also passed the legislature on a bipartisan vote and is also on the governor's desk. We certainly hope that Governor Brown will sign both SB 1349 and SB 1107. But now we have the chance with Proposition 59 to get at the root of all this to make sure that we can uh, have a constitutional amendment so that we can say, for once and for all, money isn't uh, speech and corporations aren't people. This has been a grassroots movement. The, the, the sponsor of, uh, of SB 254 that put Prop 59 on the ballot, Money Out Voters In, with Michelle Sutter, who you'll hear here, is uh, uh, the definition of a grassroots organization. Senator Allen and other leaders in the legislature have been following the, the lead of all the grassroots groups you see here. There's been a broad national coalition of supporters, as you've seen, many of them here, others elsewhere. Over 120,000 Californians have signed petitions urging that the legislature put this proposition on the ballot, that people have been de demanding it through their phone calls, their emails, their letters, and so forth. Now we're going to activate all those people so that they all get out and vote yes on Prop 59, so they all tell their friends and families to vote yes on Prop 59, and so that they all tell their Congress members and congressional candidates that they're demanding that they follow the will of the people however they vote on Proposition 59. So we're urging everybody to vote yes on Prop 59. Let's overturn Citizens United and say that money isn't speech and corporations aren't people. Thank you. Thank you, Trent. And next we have Emily Rush of CalPerg, an organization dedicated to protecting the rights, health, and safety of consumers and standing up to powerful interests whenever they threaten the people's right to fully participate in our democracy. Emily?
Thanks, Sylvia. It's really fun to be here today. Um, CalPERG, the California Public Interest Research Group, works on a variety of issues, from protecting public health to protecting consumers in the marketplace. Um, and the influence of money in politics pervades all of the issues that we've worked on over the last 40 years. I'm so proud to be here on behalf of CalPERG to endorse Prop 59 to get big money out of politics, to get corporate money out of the, our political system. Um, and I am excited to vote to instruct our members of Congress um, that they should pass a, uh, to, they should pass a constitutional amendment um, after this election. Um, we just did a report that looked at 350 competitive congressional races across the country and found that in 83% of the instances, the better funded candidate won that race. That's not surprising, but it is problematic because as has been noted by other speakers, we need to bring in a wide variety of candidates to run for political office that have the ideas and the will um, that we need to um, make our country better. Um, and we need that more than we need candidates who just have access to money and influence. And so that's one of the most important things I think we can get out of a constitutional amendment and, um, and why I um, am excited to vote for it. I want to introduce Jamie Kennert, our UCLA mm -hmm. student chapter chair, who also wants to say a few words on behalf of her generation. Uh, thank you. So I'm Jamie. I am a second year political science student. I am the chapter chair of UCLA CalPERG. Last spring, I ran a huge campaign to educate students about the effects and possible solutions to Citizens United, and we were met with uh, nearly unanimous support to overturn it. Uh, millennials right now are the hugest voting bloc uh, in the country, but we are still facing ridiculous amounts of underrepresentation uh, because we're not multimillionaires. We can barely afford to buy our books and pay our rent, <laughs> let alone donate millions to political campaigns. Um, it's a huge struggle, and we have so much frustrations because we're always being told that we're the people that are supposed to be going out and making change. We're the future. But with Citizens United, we keep being told that our voices don't matter. Even if we turn out at 100%, it still doesn't feel like we're making a change. Um, but student loan industry matters because they're able to spend millions of dollars to make sure that I stay in debt. And oil matters, fracking matters, but our future doesn't matter. So right now, when we live in a system where corruption is legalized, it really just feels impossible to, for my generation to be able to change the system. So that is why getting a yes on Prop 59 is so important. It is the first step to really making change. Thank you. Yay. Thank you. So next we have Free Homes of Free Speech for People, which works to renew our democracy and our constitution for the people, not big money and corporate interests. Free Speech for People is one of the leaders in amending the U.S. Constitution while engaging in legal advocacy to advance a new jurisprudence on money and politics and to confront the misuse of the Constitution to claim corporate exemptions from our laws. It's hiding behind that sign. Oh, thank you. Uh, my name is Bree, and I'm a lifelong Californian, and I wanted to speak to the grassroots nature of this campaign and the national movement uh, for constitutional amendment that uh, Senator Allen spoke of. Um, Free Speech for People uh, works to restore the promise of political equality, something that is really at risk when money speaks louder than our voices. Um, we worked closely with Money Out Voters In, Courage Campaign, California Clean Money Campaign, and Common Cause to defend the rights of the people to vote on this. This was a very long, hard-fought battle to make sure that Proposition 59, which was originally Proposition 49, the Overturned Citizens United Act, to make sure that it got on the ballot where it deserved. Um, so I just wanted to speak to thank each of you for showing up today and every other day that you show up for democracy and for the voices that aren't heard. Um, be it signature gathering, there was a lot of that, making phone calls, hosting parties at your house, just writing letters to editors, the editorial boards, 
all of those efforts really pay off and this is a huge testament to that of how far we've come and how important it is to show up on election day and to make sure that you are getting all of your friends, your family members, your coworkers, and it really it speaks to the fact that this will be a long battle, but we can win it and we're taking action in California and we're gonna keep taking action across the country. We have another ballot initiative that's happening in Washington State uh, this election day. And really we're gonna take it state by state, city by city, and this truly is a battle that we can win. So we are less than 50 days away from election day. Um, mark your calendars, know that the people and the power of people have already come this far. So show up, keep showing up, show up on election day, and please visit yesonca59.com to get plugged in, more information. Or if you're really savvy and you want to get on Twitter, you can follow the hashtag fight big money and you'll find out more information about this campaign and what's happening nationally. But it's just really important that we keep showing up and we know that we can win this and we're going to start in California. Thank you. Thank you, Bree. And next, we have Daniel Lee from Move to Amend. Move to Amend is a national coalition of hundreds of organizations committed to social and economic justice, ending corporate rule, and getting past what would be, what would be the 28th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution. Daniel? <clears throat> so on uh, December 6, 2011, um, I had just been released uh, from jail um, I had uh, participated in the Occupy encampment at Occupy LA. I had spent uh, a couple days in jail, but our Move to Amend group, an, in coalition with Movi, Common Calls, and a number of Occupy protesters, had a resolution before the LA City Council calling for a constitutional amendment that says corporations are not people and money is not free speech. And even though I was sick from uh, the jail disease, which everybody gets, you know if you go to jail you're gonna get sick. I made it out. Uh, I did not get a chance to speak that day, however, because of the 600 or so people that showed up to support the resolution and to urge the city council to pass it, I think something like 50 to 100 people spoke and they had to cut off our public comment. A few years later, Movi, uh, in the spring of 2013 or 2014, organized a citywide uh, resolution so the residents of Los Angeles City could vote whether or not they supported an amendment to the Constitution that said corporations are not people, money is not free speech. In both of those instances, Los Angeles was the first and la was the largest city council to pass a resolution in favor of the amendment, and it was the largest city to vote. On November 8, 2016, California will be the largest state that has a chance to vote to say that we need a constitutional amendment that says explicitly corporations are not people, money is not free speech. I urge everyone in this room and everyone listening or looking on the web or on TV to go out and educate your friends and family to vote on this resolution. Vote yes on Prop 59. There are a number of resolutions in Congress at Move to Amend, we vote we support HJR 48, but there are a number of resolutions that support the idea that corporations are not people and money is not free speech. And if we as Californians come together and say explicitly at the percentages that it's been voted on around the country, which is 60, 70, 80 percent, that we want corporate money and not just corporate money, but moneyed families out of our political process, out of dominating the voices smaller people, then we'll be one step closer to the true democracy which we all seek in this country. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Is there anyone else I, I missed? Do you like to say a few words? Um, is there any representative from Westchester Democratic Club? Yay. Yes. Yay. Come on, Come on up. <laughs> Good afternoon, my name is William Roberts. I'm the president of the Westchester Playa Democratic Club. Uh, we have worked with Michelle Sutter. She brought this to our attention many years ago and uh, we have been absolutely 100% behind it. We endorse this proposition and certainly encourage 
all registered Democrats who are interested in saving our democracy to support Proposition 59 and get money out of politics in this fashion. Thank you. Thank you very much.